Welcome to WRC 19 here in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, the World Radio Communication Conference, where I'm very pleased to be joining the studio today by Arturo Robles, who is from the Instituto Federal de Telecomunicaciones, uh, regulator of Mexico. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here joining you at the WRC. So I just wanted to ask you from the perspective of the regulatory authority of Mexico, what are some of the aspects of uh, WRC that will be most important to you? Well, for, for us, one of the most important issues here in the, for the conference is to be very active uh, for the spectrum planning for the long term and for the next year, because there in Mexico, the national regulator have the, they are in charge of planning uh, spectrum and to uh, define uh, which will be the, the next uh, bands that we will release. Uh, there in Mexico, we, are, we have a, a network that is unique in the world called uh, Wholesale Network, and every, everybody is watching us in order to know if it is a good idea. Right now, uh, we are having very good results there, and in the other bands, obviously, we are uh, uh, hoping that we will have a very, very good experience in order to plan in the worldwide spectrum. Now, a lot of work has gone into the preparation of this meeting. I wanted to ask you, in terms of the, the study groups, what uh, is their relevance, do you think, uh, for the industry as well as uh, for, for regulators? Well, for us, and I think for all the countries, these uh, study groups they are uh, one of the main and most important uh, e uh, works and, uh, and uh, uh, tools in order to, to be, to be uh, coordinated in all over the regions, in all over the countries, because uh, as, a, as a member of the United Nations and uh, as an organism of the United Nations, it is a, a very democratic and good uh, uh, form in order to uh, get the consensus and in order to uh, could, uh, coordinate uh, the worldwide spectrum that, as you may know is one of the main issues right now with our digital world and, and the, our digital economy. What are the main challenges facing Mexico in terms of connectivity? Well, in Mexico right now we have uh, more or less uh, more than 10% of the population that they have no kind of connectivity. Uh, they, they are, we are 20, uh, one, more than 120 million people there living in Mexico and some, uh, a lot of these people that they are already disconnected, they live in very isolated uh, areas with a small village. So for us it's very important to maintain all the satellite services but also to continue moving in the innovative services as the 5G networks, as the hubs. Uh, technologies and all the, these new uh, solutions that the, the, this new digital transformation uh, is providing to us. And what do you think will be the first to be rolled out in terms of these new technologies? Well, there, there in Mexico right now we are, we, we are having some 5G tests. Uh, besides that, we are having very good uh, results in order to connect this village with uh, the K band satellite. There are some of these uh, uh, small village that the, the commercial uh, satellite operators, they are going there even uh, f uh, a decade ago or uh, 10 years ago, there's no interest of any operators to go there and right now they are finding uh, profitable and, and uh, feasible options there in order to provide uh, connectivity. Is this your first WRC? It's my first WRC. I have been in another ITU event, for, but for me it's the very first one and it's a pleasure to be uh, the head of the uh, uh, regulator uh, delegation and uh, the, the, the um, um, deputy head of the Mexican delegation. Excellent. Well, we wish you the very best here at uh, WRC 19. Uh, it's, a, it's a long haul, but uh, I'm, I'm sure everybody will come out uh, with, a, with a, a consensus and, uh, and, and hopefully getting the results that they want. And hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the future. Oh, it would be great uh, to, to be here with you another time in another event. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Gracias.